journey across the Aravalli Ranges to the heart of the Indian Peninsula to the 400-year-old city of Hyderabad. Hyderabad, a place that reflects the old world grandeur of a culture inherited from the great Mughals themselves. A culture richly nuanced with feminine graces and refined ritual. One of Hyderabad's last rulers or Nizams Mahbub Ali Pasha was considered the richest man in the world. A man after my own heart, his generosity of spirit was matched by his penchant for the grand gesture, a quality that often put him at odds with the British Raj. Among the Nizam's many palaces, there is one that still takes my breath away. Falak Numa, Mirror of the Sky. Built in the 1880s by a rich grandee and acquired by the Nizam to please his favorite wife, who soon tired of it. An extravagant Italian palace left intriguingly empty during most of its hundred years of existence. King George V and Queen Mary stayed here during their state visit to India in 1906. The Oriental Library once boasted of a priceless collection, including one of the earliest copies of the Quran. Falaknuma's interiors flaunted a lavish display of French and Italian exuberance, with ruched and ruffled valances stretching across the French windows. Elegant formal dinners were held in the banquet hall, which could comfortably seat 130 guests at a table laid with crested gold and silver cutlery. As I breeze through its colonnaded verandas, I can smell a renaissance in the air. Falak Numa, left empty for much of its life, is being transformed into one of the world's most unique and evocative palace hotels. I cannot wait to see it live up once more to its name, Falak Numa, Mirror of the Sky.